Hey mamas, what's up nap time warriors? Hope you guys are doing well as you view this video. Today, I am going to show you this craft project I did from the gift bags that we received gifts in for the baby. Now, I already know, if you've seen the tour of her nursery, you know already that it is jam packed full of color and pattern and all manner of things to simulate her little mind, which I love, yet I felt the need to add one more thing. <laughs> so I came up with this paper heart garland, um, which is so easy to do and so sweet in the context of her room. It is one more thing, but it's just, it's so cute, I couldn't help it. So let's get into this project. I hope that you enjoy it and maybe you're able to make your own version. So this project starts with this handy dandy little heart punch. You can get lots of different shapes, but I had this heart punch for a while and I, punched out hearts through all the leftover gift bags and stuff from the baby's gifts. Just wanted to show you the type of sewing machine I have. We're gonna take these hearts through the, sew through the sewing machine. I turned it to what's called a basting stitch. It's basically the straight stitch that gives you the longest length between the stitches. I've had this brother sewing machine since my teens. It's never failed me. So now I'm just gonna start with the first heart, lower my presser foot, and just slowly go through the heart with the stitches. I know it sounds crazy to sew paper, but I promise you it works. So you'll see I'm just allowing the machine to do a few stitches in between the hearts before I place another heart down. Just taking it closer so you can see exactly what I'm doing. I am trying to get right down the center of the heart, but I think it's kind of cute if some of them are turned a little bit. Like this doesn't have to be an exact sort of project. Just stitching and placing hearts. That one's a little skew, but it's okay because it adds to the character of the project. Now, I will say I did have some trouble and I left these scenes in here so that you can see exactly what I did. It seems that my machine kind of the stitch got loose on that last heart and so I just cut it off and I'll show you how I connect those in the end. But after it happened a second time, I figured out that my, my um, tension was just too high and I had to lower it a little bit in order to sew through the paper. So people who sew, you know what I'm talking about. But for those who don't, the little knob above the needle is for you to adjust the tension with which the thread is held so that you can sew through different thicknesses of fabrics. So since this is a very thin piece of paper and not a thick piece of fabric, my machine was getting um, caught up. So I had to just adjust the tension a little bit in order to make this project go a lot smoother. So that's what I'm doing there after I um, got the machine untangled. So here I'm just showing you how I'm taking the end of the one row of hearts and I'm taking just the loose fabric on, not the fabric, the loose thread on the end 
and tying it in between two hearts on another string so that there'll be a continuous string of hearts. So now I'm just gonna speed through the rest of the sewing of the hearts. And there we go. I just draped this around the baby's embroidery hoops in her room and the world record clock. I just love this project so much. I didn't wanna do too much, but you can of course keep sewing through hearts to the cows come home, as my mother would say. So, what do you think of that? I was just so happy with how cute it came out to be. Um, how much like the closet doors, it's a way to keep some of the things that we got as keepsakes without necessarily, you know, putting it in a book somewhere. I like that we're living with it and those memories are there. There are so many possibilities with this project because of those punches. Like I got the heart punch because that's what floats my boat, but there are butterflies or stars or circles. There's so many ways to do this and you also don't have to use gift bags the way that I did. You can use other kinds of papers, anything that you can punch a hole through. Newspapers, sheet music, um, all kinds of fun stuff, gift wrap. This project can really take on a life of its own. You can use it in a party setting to decorate for a party. I just, I hope that you guys take this project and run with it. If you do, please tag me in your pictures. My Instagram handle is at DIY Mama Tribe. And yeah, go ahead, follow me there. Let's hang out. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and go ahead and subscribe while you're at it. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.